my name is Nina Daffe and I'm the founder and the editor of the Far Above Rubies Collection.com where I basically just help Christian women to know their worth, their power and their purpose so they can speak up, step out and shine as, you know, the women of God that God kind of ordained them to be. I think I very much was just at the point of wanting to become more visible again. So not just um, hiding behind, I guess, my words and my writing. Like this year I was doing much more in the way of doing video um, on my own platform. So doing lives and stuff like that. Um, I had visions also of kind of doing more speaking. I just, I don't know, it was just kind of blah. I think I, I felt like I had to almost give myself permission to, um, I don't know, be me, even in the way that I, I was dressing. But I also realized how important that was even for the confidence to put myself out there, for other people to be able to identify with me. Like, I just realized that it, was, it wasn't just clothes, you know, like this was really important for just branding and authenticity, basically. I realized just going on this journey, it was like a, a whole host of issues and, a, and lots of kind of mindset things that needed to be unpicked. Those voices in my head, um, I think there was also just that fear of whether or not, you know, people would actually um, understand or accept, you know, the, like the real me, the, the, the me that, that, you know, um, likes the bold colors and you know all of this that and the other and I think just in terms of body image and stuff it's an interesting one because I feel I feel within myself that you know I'm you know quite confident um, you know accepting of you know like my body and the way that it is but at the very same time i think that, that if you are a bigger person for example society doesn't expect that of you and society still expects you to hide and not wear loud colors or to dress according to your shape but giving myself permission or actually being allowed to express myself through clothes because when you listen to all of the fashion rules you know especially for someone as as a you know like i said or a bigger person or you know that sort of thing the 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 whole thing i find is very much to cover up you know cover up hide don't draw attention to yourself because apparently you know my size and shape is supposed to be undesirable let's be honest maybe just quite afraid of other people's reaction or other people's opinions not necessarily my own but just oh god you know if i do like now start to put myself out there am i now drawing negative attention or inviting it in because you know that's you know people aren't always very kind you know i always find it really strange how even when you're about to make positive change it can still be scary I loved the way that you talked about how how deep it was. Like it, it, um, it wasn't just about the surface and the outside. It was very, um, it was going to be a lot of um, reflection and kind of internal, you know, working out, you know, all of the mindset and all of the stuff that's held you back up till now. And although, you know, yes, you know that's going to be good for you. You know that that's a good thing. I think the fear of, oh God, or oh my God, uncover. <laughs> it's always a bit scary. And then also, oh gosh, you know, what, what am I going to look like, you know, afterwards? So as I said, you know, wanting to kind of take my brand, my brand further forward, make everything a bit more cohesive. Uh, this just, it's slotted in perfectly. We're actually just doing the work and not just the fun stuff. <laughs> You know, like the actual, like the true, I don't know, I feel like I've gone on a real journey with my body. Like if you, if you were to talk to the teenage me, and that's when she just was kind of the bane of my life, didn't really like her very much, a lot of negativity and internal dialogue. And then I guess early 20s was, okay, fine, we're stuck with each other. We might as well learn to like each other, right? <laughs> so it was like, you know, learning, learning all of that, basically. If I think about from there until now, though, I do think that there's been a bit of indifference just in the sense of, 
okay, well, this is, this is my body. This is what she's like. I know how to dress her. We're at peace with each other. But that was kind of it. I don't really think that I spent maybe a lot of time appreciating my body for the miracle that it actually is. What was really, really interesting about Brand Yourself Beautiful is it went so much deeper than, than the style. Like it was just, just so, so holistic. You know, it re I think it just really got me to think about not even just fashion or, or style, but just beauty, like just the, w the word itself, beauty, just in a, in a very, very different way. Maybe I'd also dismissed clothes as well at the same time because of that, because it, it just felt like a necessity. You get up in the morning, you brush your teeth, you have a shower, you get dressed. You know what I mean? It's just a part of the, a part of the routine, but... I don't know, just learning to see it as a form of self-care and as a form of self-expression, you know, that also allowing those mindset shifts to happen, I think was a, was a big part of what made Brand Yourself Beautiful, you know, so, so great for me, like actually allowing myself to go through that journey. And it was funny because... So I remember watching the replay and seeing the discussion of some of the other ladies who said the same thing, which is, it's really funny that I love all of these colors, yet I don't see that in my wardrobe. I don't actually, I don't wear them. And I, I was the exact same way. It just became a lot more cohesive. It was, okay, this is not just a thing of, oh, these are your brand colors. So when you appear in public, like, this is just what you should wear. So it looks good on your Instagram. Like, no, actually, this is what you like. This is you. This is, <laughs> this is who you are. And I feel like with other programs or even just the media, just the way that personal style and, and branding is very much marketed is that it's, it's something to kind of um, help you to conform to what normal beauty standards are. So if you are going for personal style, if you are going for personal branding, then it's just for the sole purpose of, you know, if you're a bigger person, cinching in, if you're, you know, a shorter person, wear heels to be taller. And, you know, it's, it's just all of that sort of stuff. Whereas this was very much, you know, what do you find, find beautiful? Like, what's your voice? You know, who, who, who are you? What do you like? And I think that that was actually really, really powerful as well from the branding point of view. It adds, I think, even more of a confidence when you are doing things, you know, like speaking in front of people, having an interview, for example, because it all came from you. It all came very organically and very authentically. This is, this is me. This is, this is actually me. Whereas I feel like if it was someone who said to dress according to my shape or, you know, according to fashion rules, then it, it wouldn't necessarily be, it would just be me conforming again. Just how, how academic and how deep and reflective it all was. You know, I think it really cases for all learning styles. Like even if you're not necessarily a girly girl who's used to maybe having to dress yourself up or having fun with clothes or, you know, like it's for everybody. Like it, it really is.